16.2c quadratic formula make equation equal to zero. Before using the quadratic formula, the equation must equal zero and be in standard form, or in other words, it needs to be in descending order going from the largest exponent down to the smallest. That means the equation should look like ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. In example one here, notice that we have two x squared by itself and there are 15 minus 7x on the other side, so what we want to do is we want to move these over. Um, I always take the time to write this out because otherwise I have a tendency to get the signs wrong. And then when I write it out, I put it in descending order. So we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equal to zero. And now we put it in the quadratic formula, which means we now have x equal to plus or minus, whoops, let's fix that, opposite of our b, plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times our a times our c, all over 2 times our a. So now we get that x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 169 all over 4. So that means x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 169 is 13 all over 4. So we have negative 7 plus 13 which will give us 6 fourths and negative 7 minus 13 which would give us negative 20 fourths. So that means x equals 3 halves and negative 5. In example 2, we need to move our 7 over, so we'll subtract 7 from both sides. We now have 3x squared plus 5x minus 5 equal to 0. Using our quadratic formula, we have x equal to opposite of our b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times our a times our c all over 2 times our a. And that's going to give us x equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 85 all over 6. Let's see, 85, can we simplify that? No, we can't <laughs> simplify 85. 85 is 5 times 17, neither, one, neither which we can take the square root. So that means that our answer will just be x equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 85 all over 6.